Hi guys, welcome back to the History Shelf. This is Peg. I'm here to do a book review tonight on the Accursed Tower, the Fall of Acker, and the End of the Crusades by Roger Crowley. Um, I really enjoyed this read. I finished reading this during our nonfiction November, um, but basically all year for me is nonfiction, obviously the History Shelf. I love history and I really enjoyed this book. Uh, Roger Crowley has written uh, several books D dealing with this time frame, um, some of his best known uh, Empires of the Sea. He also did 1453, uh, The Holy War for Constantinople and the Clash of Islam in the West. Um, City of Fortune, How Venice Ruled the Seas. Uh, Conquerors, which is a book I have as well. Uh, how Portugal Forged the First Global Empire. Um, this book was great. It's a little over 200 pages long, and it basically accounts the uh, or covers the uh, the the final attack and fall of this little sit well the city of Acre uh, in 1291, um, and that would be along the Levantine coast. And during the Crusades, the the cities along the um, the eastern edge of the Mediterranean Sea was called um, Outremer which was uh, French for overseas. So as you can see in this book we have some great uh, great maps that kind of just shows you the, the, the cities along the, the, the coast there and Acre was the final one. Um, basically we're looking at how the uh, it's the final confrontation of Islam and Christianity really at least in the form of the Crusaders and um, and the defenders of Islam. Um, in 1191, you had Richard the Lionheart um, kind of facing off against, along with a couple of the other European um, leaders that had taken the cross, facing off against uh, Saladin. And um, they had, they were the ones besieging Acre, because at the time, um, the, uh, the Muslims held Acre under Saladin's leadership, and they were able to, uh, to take it, and it was very brutal. Um, what happened there. And it, this, this book kind of details, oh, the sense of a uh, hundred years later, it seemed like it was, you know, a very appropriate, especially as the, the Muslim armies under the Ayyubid Caliphate um, were taken over pretty much by the Mamluks, um, more of a Turkish, um, Turkish origin. Um, they were the Turks that kind of just moved in and eventually became the Ottoman Empire. But at the time, they were they were called the Mamluks. <clears throat> and um, uh, so, a hundred years later, the the tables were turned, and the the Crusaders, you know, the, the taste for crusading had fallen off in Europe over the course of the you know they began in what the eleventh uh, century, the first call. And uh, by 1291, the taste for crusading had, had waned and had gone away. A few people were still very um, uh, dedicated to supporting the, the Templars, the, hospi the Hospitallers, the Hospitallers, and uh, Teutonic Knights. There were, you know, some, some remaining units along this coastline in uh, what we would call like modern day Israel, Lebanon, that kind of thing, but uh, but when the Mamluks were just, um, they basically threw King Louis the Ninth out of Egypt. He and the Seventh Crusade, he tried to 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 attack their power base there as as a way of uh, securing a further, just regenerating the Crusades so that they could get back in and, and retake Jerusalem. But that that didn't happen. They were pretty much thrown back. And then the Mamluks just kept pushing up into the Levant here. I can't get my finger straight on this camera. <laughs> here we go. And they just kept pushing up in Acre. You know, each uh, each one just fell, you know, uh, one by one until the only one left was Acre. And it was so well fortified. And uh, the name of the book comes from the Accursed Tower, which it was called because of the very strong tower if you can see at this map here, you can see they had two sets of walls going all around the city. It was a very, it was a tough nut to crack, basically. Um, and the strongest tower was called the Accursed Tower right there. And each each tower had a name. You had St. Romans, you had uh, um, the Tower of uh, 
the Genoese and, you know, you had the Royal Castle and uh, the Templar, the Templar Castle. So, I mean, even within these walls, you had more castles. Um, what this book points out is the advanced weaponry and the siege, uh, the siege weaponry of the Mamluks was unsurpassed at the time. I mean, they, they had it down. And I like that the, the Crowley spends a lot of time looking at the weaponry and the, uh, the tactics that they had pretty much just perfected when it came to siege warfare. And I know Jason at Byways and Bookland would really enjoy this book. If he hasn't read it already, I don't, I don't know if you have Jason, but highly recommend it. I'm trying to find some of the, there's some artwork in here um, that talks about just the, trebuch the trebuchets and the, um, oh gosh, this, the, the different, the different pieces of equipment. Oh, here's a great one. It was sh just showing you like the manually how these, these folks had to, to go about launching these things. One guy had, he was called the swinger, I think, or the hook, <laughs> was it the hooker? No, the shooter, <laughs> not the hooker. Um, he would hang off the edge and kind of like sway it. And then when they gave the order to fire, then he would have to drop immediately uh, or else he'd be like catapulted, you know, miles into the city. But um, yeah, they were just talking about how during this siege, um, the Mamluk leader was Khalil, who had taken over from Kalawun, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and he was a very steady, a steady le uh, leader. He had a good sense of strategy and tactics and, um, you know, they were just really outnumbered within the walls of Acre. I mean, the Mamluks just surrounded them. They were hugely outnumbered and it was just a matter of time, but they, some people tried to escape by the, you know, to Cyprus to, to get some of the, there are some boats that came in to t try to take them off, but the seas were so rough, I guess, during that time of year, um, that it just, it was, it was impossible, but, and basically, uh, the city fell, you know, they just, uh, I think the taste of battle in this book was what really drew me to it. And, and the fact that Crowley describes it so well, the sounds, what the sounds must have been like psychologically to the defenders along the wall. Um, the constant sound of this, you know, the trebuchet launching, and there were three or four massive ones. It took them, oh gosh, months and hundreds and hundreds of men to move just pieces of the trebuchet. They were so huge. Um, and just feeling the, 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 the launching into the wall, the, the, the massive, the massive stone rocks that they would, they would propel just psychologically, you know, like PTSD, again, it's another aspect of warfare that always is interested me, um, whether it's from World War, you know, to World War One, even back to the Civil War, but, you know, it happened back here too, back in these days, and um, so just the sounds and sights, like, you know, this picture is not, is not incorrect, not at all. I don't think that's not a flight of fancy. Uh, it must have been horrific. And, um, you know, it just makes you wonder why, uh, what, in, in this case, it was religion that really drew these uh, defenders and the attackers to, to commit themselves so um, unreservedly to seeing this through to the end. And then what happened in Acker after um, it was surrendered, uh, it's pretty it's pretty bad they just basically destroyed it they didn't want the mamluks did not want a foothold anywhere along that coastline for the crusaders to ever consider coming back and they never did so with the fall of acker in 1291 that pretty much sealed the deal on that and closed the chapter on the crusades anyway i wanted to highly recommend this book um anyone who enjoys uh the history of the Crusades from either side, um, military history, medieval warfare. Um, this is a great read. It's it's a real fast read, and but Crowley he writes very engagingly, and I highly enjoyed it. So, The Cursed Tower, The Fall of Acker, and The End of the Crusades, Roger Crowley by Basic Books. So, I really appreciated this opportunity to read it, and I hope you guys would enjoy it. And. Uh, with that, I will conclude here and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.